So Photoshop has a ton of ways that you can clean up your images or remove unwanted objects from your photographs. And it seems like with every single update, they're adding a new tool or method each time. So in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about how each one of these methods works, their best applications, and how you can utilize them to improve your photography. First up is the clone stamp. It's a classic. It's been around forever. Essentially, you sample pixels from one area in your photo and copy and paste them to another area. This works really great for things with a lot of texture on them, like the ocean, clouds, hair, rocks, waves, things like that. It's also really great for getting rid of halos on images. Just change the blend mode to darker color, sample something nearby, stamp it, and see the halo disappear. It can also be used to duplicate something like a flower or a leaf or whatever your imagination comes up with. Next up is the healing brush tool, which is kind of similar to the clone stamp, except it doesn't create an exact copy of a sampled area. It only brings over the texture and luminosity, which is a little bit more subtle, and it's really good for scenes with varying light where an exact copy of certain pixels would not match up. Skies, contrails, sand dunes all work really, really well. Its applications are a bit limited though. Transitions and hard edges create smudgy messes. So that was the healing brush tool. And next up we have the spot healing brush tool, which is perfect for small imperfections. Things like dust spots, lens flares, and little footprints in your image that you wanna get rid of. Unlike the other tools we've just covered, the spot healing brush tool automatically samples the surrounding area for you. Additionally, there are three different types of spot healing. The first type, and honestly, the one you're going to use the most is the content aware. This is essentially content to work fill in brush form. Next is create texture. And this really doesn't work for nature photos. It just gives you a bunch of strange textures and artifacts. The last type is proximity match. This looks for something similar nearby. It copies this to the area you brushed over and then tries to match texture and luminosity, similar to the healing brush and the clone stamp mixed together. Next up is a tool that doesn't get a lot of love and that is the patch tool. Clicking this opens up a lasso selection where you can trace around the object you want to remove, drag that section to a nearby adjacent textured area, and it will clone that in, but also feather it and adjust the color to try and match it with the surroundings. Adobe's most recent addition, the Remove tool, actually utilizes AI to remove all sorts of things from your photograph. Simply brush over or trace around objects you want to remove, and voila, it magically disappears. This works really well against hard edges and things that have a lot of complex patterns in them, which other tools have a difficult time with. The downside is that you don't have any control over where that sample is taken from, and because it utilizes AI, it can sometimes go slow on older machines. Another method to help clean up your images that came out recently is the AI powers generative fill. First, go up to window and make sure contextual taskbar is turned on. Next, you can make a selection around something and click on Generative Fill. If you don't type anything in and hit Enter, the object that you traced around will be removed. And last, but certainly not least, is the Content-Aware Fill tool. Use the Lasso tool to make a selection around an object, right-click, and then select Content-Aware Fill. This brings up a new window where you manually add or subtract the areas Photoshop will sample from. The results from Content Aware Fill are generally really good, with the only downside being that it takes a little extra time. There is another way to access Content Aware Fill where you make a new selection, right click, then go down to Fill. It's going to bring up a new window where you can select Content Aware, and this makes a sample selection for you. So, as you can see, there are a ton of ways to clean up your images in Photoshop, and a method that might work for one photo generally does not always work for another. So it's up to you to play around and decide which one works best. So with that, happy removing. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.